Hello, this is Mary with Mango Math and I'm here with Millie to give a lesson tutorial out of our fifth grade math kit. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all things Mango Math. The game LCM slash LCD is actually two games in one. In the first game, students are going to come up with what is the least common multiple of the two numbers that are shown. And they're going to play it similar to like a war game, which you two numbers are shown, whoever comes up the right answer takes those two numbers. There will be one student who could be the judge that determines that they have the least common multiple, which then allows students to uh, discuss why they think their number is correct, so you get some discussion in it. So to start, let's say the two students had the 6 and the 4 show, and they had to determine what is the least common multiple of the 6 and the 4. In this case, the least common number multiple would be 12. So whoever says 12 first would get those two cards. Now if a student said 24, because they multiplied the two numbers together, that is a common multiple, but it's not the least common multiple. So the next one, let's say they had a 10 and a 5, the least common multiple out of this one would be the 10, because the 5 goes into the 10. So 10 is the answer. So sometimes the card is the answer also. And in this case, they get 2 and 8. The least common multiple would be that 8. So whoever comes up with the first will get those cards. And you just continually go through the deck trying to determine what is the least common multiple. In the game Least Common Denominator, it's very similar in which you're trying to come up with what is the least common multiple of these two numbers, which is the same answer as we had before. So they will write on the board, in this case it's 12 and 12, but the answer they have to get is what is multiplied by the 6 to get the 12. So their answer would be the 2 in this case, and the answer for this player would be the 3. Whoever came up with this answer the quickest would be the person who got both the cards. So another example would be if the dealer had a 10 and an 8 out here, the least common multiple for each of these, or what our denominator, common denominator would be, would be 40. And you'd have to know you multiplied it by 4, and this one you would multiply by 5. So the students would have to get this answer the quickest. So that's how you played that game. But both games they can try out uh, have time to play both of them or just one of them, but to get the practice on determining what is the least common multiple and the lowest common denominator. Thank you for checking out our video and seeing how to play these great Mango Math games. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more Mango content and check out our website at www.mangomath.com.